Let's go say hi to Rob. He's home today. So now the guy's going to start that thing. Evidently, I'm going to hiccup through the rest of this video. Crap. Rob! Whoa, what a picture that is. Dude's over there power washing his four-wheeler. Don't know what else to call that. Yeah, yeah we found out pretty quick. I did find out pretty quick. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the end of the year garden. I haven't done many garden videos this year. I've had teeth put in. I've done all the things. But I've been gardening. Right. I spend hours out here, every day hours, unless it's too humid and I can't breathe. But I'm going to take you around and show you what we have left. Down here is Rob's peppers. He's got Hungarian hot wax. We've been picking these and we cut them in rings and then put them in the freezer. We don't do anything else other than just cut them in rings, put them in the freezer, and then as we want to make peppers and oil or whatever we want, we, we put them in gallon sized freezer bags. We just get it out. So he's got different kind of peppers down through here. Not sure what these are. His ghost, he, had, he does have ghost peppers, but they're not in this garden. These are Inferno. And then I think Jalapeno, I, I think. And then little red, <clears throat> excuse me, little red things down there. Up here, I have my potatoes growing and I've dug a little bit up. These were in bags, I just cut the bags apart. There are potatoes in there. I'm a, I'm a potato farmer now. More hot peppers, more hot peppers, and then my one tomato plant over there that looks, believe it or not, that looks decent compared to the other ones. On this cow panel here was all my cantaloupe. So now in here I have some carrots planted. I don't know how they'll do. I need to weed them out. I'm not sure. I have basil in through here and with my corn. This corn I actually am using for decoration. That's why I'm growing this corn, believe it or not. But in between here, I have lettuce and this has been the perfect place for the lettuce to grow because it's gotten sun, but it's also shaded. But the corn, we, we have eaten some of it, but uh, the, the, it's now decoration and my lettuce is now going to seed as you can see. Over here on this cow panel, I have my loofah and it's really weird. I don't know, can you see them hanging up there? I don't have as many as I thought I would have, but you can see this side, how nice and green it is. And then if you pan over to this side, I don't know what's happening. Whether whether it's planted in different soil, maybe, I'm not sure, probably. But I'll I'll post a video, a link at the end or in my description. Look in my description if you want to see us eating the loofah. Last year I did cook the loofah and we ate the loofah. And there's a tiny little one coming from up there. This year we had so much rain that it, it was just crazy. Well, we had crazy rain, that's what we had. Okay, over here I have planted some onions, some onions and some beets. I got the hiccups now, great. This is my toothache plant. Evidently, I'm gonna hiccup through the rest of this video. <laughs> Sorry. This is my toothache plant. I have a video on this also, again, in my description if you wanna see see what this is I'm gonna be making a new video what I'm gonna be doing with these but let me t tell you as I hiccup one of my subscriber friends that I met through YouTube grows this and she sent me some seeds and a tincture that she made when I had all my teeth pulled for to get my dentures this is what got me through this toothache plant that's what did it it took the pain away it it just it just it was it was wonderful better than Orogel, better than any pain medicine ever could be, this toothache plant. All right, moving on. I've grown some mammoth sunflowers. I know you can't really see how tall these are. Maybe I'll put some pictures in. Whoa, what a picture that is. These are mammoth. I've taken all the leaves, leaves off because they're like umbrellas in the garden. But I've got green beans in here that I've now planted twice and I'm not sure why, they're just not coming up. Whether it's the seeds, I don't know. But we have 
this is this was not a good year for my garden really really wasn't following this vine down the row here you'll see a cantaloupe I'm excited about my cantaloupe these are like my little babies of the garden and you can see this one see how it's starting to get its um, I don't know, outer edge I don't know what else to call that but yeah so I've got that it was planted in the garden but it's growing all outside the garden now along with my butternut squash it's it's going everywhere so it's like when you walk through here it, I've left footmarks <laughs> you know I've left holes in here so or made holes like in the vines spaces spaces not holes so I could actually actually walk through here but I'm excited about all of my butternut and you can see next year this fungus that oh yeah so now the guy's gonna start that thing he's pressure washing over there thank you mister all right but anyway you can see this spotty stuff that we got next year next year I'm gonna have control of that before it happens this year my teeth happened in so we have crappy tomatoes <laughs> uh, there's nothing I can do about that right here cucumbers so I did make some freezer pickles this year they're pretty darn good and there's the end of the vine in here again left little so you can all these vines are coming from this area right here just this area and I've left little spaces where I can step and over here it looks like I'm getting another butternut squash yay for that cucumbers that we didn't eat I'm just leaving them there they're turning in they're gonna be compost so yeah that over there is growing outside the fence I have my honeysuckle which next year it should flower and be I'm, I'm expecting I'm expecting it to be beautiful and gorgeous and I'm expecting next year I'll have time to do this this year I just had a lot going on with my teeth and my mouth let's go say hi to Rob he's home today he's painting our garage hi actually let's Michelle painted Michelle that's me talking in third person painted I painted up until where I can reach and Rob is in charge of the rest I'm, I'm getting the parts I can reach yeah so it'll look nice we're painting all of it even like up there is red he's changing all that to white so the whole garage is going to be white and then we're going to go from there and see if we want to make any color trim right yeah yeah all right. I got to replace. I got to replace a couple pieces of trim here. One, a couple on our side. You got to change, rot it out. Yeah. So we'll side it eventually. I'm just not sure what color I want. There's like a house down the street. I really like the color of their house. I got out and took pictures of their house one day, and a man came out and said, "What are you doing?" And later I found out that was the chief of police's house. I didn't know it was the chief of police's house, but hey. Right? Well, yeah. yeah, we found out pretty quick. I did find out pretty quick. So, yeah, that was a fun thing. All right, let's go see our grapes, and then we'll come back and say say bye with Rob. How's that sound? It's going to be loud here because dude's over there power washing his four-wheeler. And Rob has the radio on, too. Here's our grapevine. I de-leafed it the other day. I got tons and tons of grape, grapes off here. And I just thought, I'm just taking all the leaves off, so maybe it'll ripen faster. I have no idea. I, I have no idea. So, I'm going to come out. I'll probably come out and add more to my bucket. I have a big bucket of grapes. There, I got a big pot of grapes. I went and got all my grapes. Big pot. I'm going to pick some, add to the pot. I picked all these the day before yesterday, so they're still okay. Oh, I got a pumpkin out there. Have you ever seen a pumpkin grow? I should tell dude over there. You see, look at, there he is, our neighbor. He has fun toys over there. But anyway, there's our pumpkin. I don't know what's gonna happen with that. It's 
the beginning, it's September. We need it in October, so hope it grows. I don't know. I was stepping on the vine as I was picking all of the grapes. And then, oh, one more thing while we're here. This stuff is my crap. Rob, horseradish. It's horseradish. I, I don't know why. I keep Not forgetting. Horseradish. Oh, I keep forgetting to call, what they call that. Horseradish. There's the horseradish. We're going to be digging that out soon. I'll make a video on that with Rob. Everybody loves to see some Rob there. Hey, Rob. Poor Rob. Poor Rob. Yeah, poor Rob. And our poor dog in there. Yeah, she wants to be out here with us. The dog has been following me around. Uh, Rob's, this is a long weekend, so Rob's been home. He's even taller now. Jiminy Christmas. So oh, the dog sorry. has been, thank you. <laughs> thank you. So anyway, the dog's been following me. It's, the dog's been my like right-hand man. Although it's a girl dog, I've been calling her my right-hand man. So anyway, we'll see you in our next video. Hey, come down, come down to my level. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.